Hey guys, I'm Ray Parisi with CNBC, and we are way out in the Hamptons today, here to check out the most expensive home for sale in Southampton. This oceanfront estate is called Ladoon. The price tag is $150 million. Cue the drone shots. Right now, you're flying up the coastline of one of the most expensive strips of sand in America. Some people call this Billionaire's Beach. Front and center on this beach is the Ladoon Estate. It spans four acres across 400 feet of dune lined beach. The property includes two homes, two pools, and a sunken tennis court. Here's the view coming up the private drive leading to the main house. It's a classic Hampton style shingled mansion and it was built more than 100 years ago. The main residence is over 11,000 square feet. Steps away is the estate's second home, also massive, spanning more than 9,000 square feet. In total, the Ladoon estate delivers about 21,000 square feet of living space, 19 bedrooms, and 16 baths. So this is super broker Sean Elliott. He is the man who's been hired to sell this place, Ladoon, for? $150 million. Oh, man, and, and clearly this is sort of a lot of where that value comes from, the position where you are here on I mean, the beach. I think this is one of the five best beaches in the world. I mean, you are on the Atlantic Ocean. This is really the place to be. So this is the backyard of Ladoon. Um, it, I, I'm presuming it's named after the dune that it sits on, yeah? Correct. In the background, we see a smaller house, which is giant. <laughs> and in the foreground... A smaller 10,000 square foot house. This one is just shy of 12,000. Total square footage on these two houses, 21,000 square feet. The uh, staff here set up for you chairs and umbrellas with towels for today. So you could well watch, dolphin watch. I mean, you could do whatever you want and toes in the sand. Let's go check it out. So this is really classic Hamptons architecture, yeah? This is the quintessential Southampton Colonial. You're gonna see them up and down Southampton. Oh man, I love this. <laughs> How about a dining room table set for, for 12? The ocean in every window. And then it looks like, is that another dining room off it, the dining room? It is, room? so imagine having Thanksgiving here. Staircase, molding, railings, this is all original This stuff. is all original. My client restored it to perfection. Are you ready for the probably one of the nicest primary bedrooms with the most amazing view? Oh man. I mean, we're talking about the Atlantic Ocean right now, 50 yard wow. long. It's incredible how it just, we come out of that hall and it opens up. <laughs> Come on, I mean, look at the ceiling height. Another fireplace, and you've got two terraces, not one, to take you out and show you this beautiful beach. So this is all primary, and, and it branches off here to like a sitting room? Or? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't stop. I mean, you know, we're talking about a primary bedroom it takes up half this floor. Come in here, and you got your primary bathroom. You're overlooking the beach. Beautiful, right? That is a spectacular view of the yeah. whole run of that beach. Are you lost? <laughs> no, we're good. Going up. Bedroom number one. We just motored through uh, three levels of the house. Yep, we did. And um, um, on the lowest level, we have the grand entrance. With the exception of this foyer, which boasts 20 foot high coffered ceilings and a staircase, the home's lowest level is devoted to staff. Kind of like the downstairs in the Downton Abbey series. This was set up for a couple different reasons. And again, it depends on the family needs. It could be security, it could be an office. At the 150 million mark, you start to require uh, area for security, certainly areas for um, staff. And we're, it looks like we're walking into the staff kitchen now. Yeah. And um, you need a house manager, right? So you need someone to manage the house. So this is the staff kitchen. It's really the catering kitchen. So when you're throwing an event on the property for 500 people, this is where the caterer goes. I wouldn't mind being a staff member at this house. I, I mean, it's you, way right, better right? than my kitchen. Elevator, so if you're making food, right, and you, your staff brings it up the elevator, and uh, it just doesn't stop. And then the things you don't need to see are like laundry. They have enough laundry machines for all of Southampton. Next stop, we head outside and over to house number two. Technically, it's two lots, yeah? Two, it's two lots, both approximately two acres apiece, two homes. This one being around 11,000, this one being around 10,000 square feet. We'll peek at the pool first. Oh my God, this is 
spectacular. Right. You've got this beautiful, beautiful pool. This was built for a huge family with children and grandchildren and great grandchildren and the whole nine. What is this? So listen, if you're in the Hamptons and you're rich, you got to treat your dogs well. Are you I'm, serious? <laughs> this is a doghouse for real? This is a doghouse for real. So this is a $150 million doghouse. <laughs> what kind of maintenance costs are we talking about per year here? And do you have an idea of the taxes? So the taxes um, in the Hamptons are really low. I mean, if you they're look at- They're low? They're low. And the reason why- I'm going to call BS on that. They're not <laughs> no. low. The you're going to offend people right now. What do you mean low? Well, listen, listen a, ten, a $10 million house in the Hamptons, the taxes could be $12,000. No joke. It's just the way it is. You well, know, what about this place? This place, they're somewhere around $100,000. Uh, but you're talking $150 million, right? A bargain. $100,000 so, a year is a bargain, wait, according to on Sean. Wait, $150 million house? And if you can't afford that, then you shouldn't be buying this house. Yeah. If it was in California, the taxes would be $3 million. It feels like a little bit mini of a version of that place, stylistically almost identical. Yeah, the feeling and the style obviously is the same in both houses. This house is three levels, downstairs is what? <laughs> it's the mecca of entertainment. Wait to see the theater, it's huge. It's, the beach vibe continues. The beach vibe never ends, the sisal carpet, the white chic chairs, 4K Dolby Atmos theater. Wow. It's one of the best in the world, but yet it's shabby chic, right? It's Hampton style. Yeah. More staff room, staff room, staff room, staff rooms, right? And we're back. Another room, wait, hold on. We Just, are definitely lost. But we found in the gym. You get a massage in our massage room, come in here, take a steam. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. The total number of bedrooms in this house are? Nine. But take a look at this. I mean, we're talking about front to back. These are real primaries. These are no joke. Every one of them is spectacular. Look at the ceiling. It just keeps unfolding and unfolding and unfolding. I oh, might prefer this house. Listen, Ray, I'll sell you either one you want or both of them. It doesn't make a difference. Would you actually split them up? We might. It's something that we would consider. And you've had this amazing huge terrace. The best part of this, the views. Take a look at this beautiful sunken tennis court. This yard keeps going and going. I didn't even realize there was a sunken tennis court here, and it's gigantic. And that's what makes it so special, because, you know, looking at a tennis court isn't necessarily pretty, but look at this one with the pergolas, the landscaping, the beauty. So 150 million, we're closing in on 7,000 plus per square foot. Yes, and you're, you're closing in on 7,000 a foot for one reason and one reason only because of location. Yeah, that ocean. That's it. I mean, you are truly on the 50 yard line of nothing but wealth, right? And in real estate, we always know it's location, location, location. It's not a cliche. You're in the Hamptons, you're on the best beach in probably all of the East Coast, and you've got that view. So today, to me, just the land alone would be worth north of $100 million. So if there were no houses here on these two lots, you think $100 million just for the dirt? Absolutely. This house is the furthest thing from a teardown, but if the house wasn't here, this lot alone, each one of them would be worth $50 million. Insane. This might be the luckiest dog in the world. Yes, oh, yes. I would say so. Living in a $150 million house. I love photography. I love ceramics. I mix all of it all together to make a fantastic room with great harmony from beautiful tables to beautiful ceramics and beautiful furniture. It's all about taste, elegance, light, architecture. 